All right. I really didn't want to do this reading, but spirit demanded it. So here we are. <sighs> Interrupted my shenanigans too. Queen of Pentacles, baby elephant. This one's about doppelgangers and their apparent reality. Watch, I'm gonna draw that card. Watch, I just know I will. White Oak, Twin Flame Tree. That's not the card I was talking about, but it's still Twin Flame related. So, Two of Swords and the Blue Jay. While I was in Tennessee, I stumbled across somebody who looked exactly like my twin flame right here on TikTok. Horned Owl. <sighs> Temperance. That was my confirmation card that I needed to do this reading. I drew strength and then I confirmed with Temperance. Which is like, like we said, Super Saiyan level two, fucking level confirmation that I'm supposed to do the thing. So, uh, here we are, doing the thing. Kicking hell. Hierophant, hummingbird. And you know, this doppelganger is fucking absolutely enchanting, just positively magnetic, energizing, uh, divine justice, karmic retribution. And he looks so similar. And at first it was the looks, you know? Like, I noticed him because, ripple, the looks and his voice. Even though I've never heard my twin flame sing, this guy has, has some pipes. And I know that me stumbling across him doesn't necessarily mean anything for me. Queen of Swords, as much as I would like to believe that, you know, he's the divine counterpart at the end of the rainbow. I don't know. Ten of Wands. I feel a little burdened because, you know, the camp's been split this entire journey as to whether the I would wind up with my twin flame or not. And I still don't know what the right thing is. Spirit's always told me that I'm gonna know when it's time to know. And all I know, King of Wands, is that he's still doing the same shit he's always been doing, as far as I know. If things are different, he hasn't told me. He reaches out energetically, he talks to me in dreams. But, what am I supposed to do with that? When he won't actually show up and he won't actually talk to me. And you know, there it is. You can't force fruit to grow, but I'm not trying to. You know, strength. When the AI made this card, I just described us loosely, you know, just described us. And I took the cup on this side and I mirrored it on the other side. So I put that cup on, on his arm to match the one on mine. But the bodies just so happened to carry, carry the likeness pretty well. And then I overlaid the two men over top of the Ripple and the Caduceus. This is the only card in the entire deck that I edited at all. All of the other cards were naturally created the way that they were created by the AI and Spirit. This is the only one that I doctored and it got Spirit's approval. And I figured if I wasn't allowed to have pictures, then this would be the next best thing. Closest thing I had to a picture of us. Even though I could go get pictures right now if I wanted to. I know they're available and know how to do it. But I'm not supposed to. 
Spirit never let me hold on to that. They never let me keep pictures of him. If I got pictures of him, it was against Spirit's will, and they made me delete them later. And I understand that that was part of overcoming the obsession part of the journey that you feel in the beginning. Empress. I was just so in love, you know? It was one hell of a tower to, um, to say goodbye and mean it. And when I stumbled across this new guy, at first I was just like, damn, you know, just like, that's all I could think, like, damn, not like, damn, but like, damn. still all I can think, really. And Hippo. I haven't really felt that way since the Twin Flame. It was the only other masculine out of all of the ones that I've interacted with or had come up. It's the only one that's gotten that kind of reaction from me. got the ancient white oak, the tower with the two of swords, a heavy decision about soul connections, the eclipse and the blue jay, a pivotal turning point where we rise above into divine union or reunion here, the horned owl using our discernment to decide what we want and find balance with temperance by following spirit's guidance, the bamboo grove safety with the hierophant and the emperor and the hummingbird deciding how we want to live our life and with who we want to live our life. Regardless of what that connection is, platonic, romantic, divine justice and karmic retribution lined up with the king of pentacles and the ripple. The queen of swords, the ten of wands, and the king of wands are next. We've got the seven of wands with the queen of swords and the ripple. We've had to defend ourselves. The Knight of Wands with the Ten of Wands. We've been dealing with these burdens kind of carelessly because I've been avoiding. I haven't wanted to think about why they look the same. I haven't wanted to think about which one could be the right direction, if either. Because honestly, part of me, Chariot, part of me feels like this new guy's just out of my league. And I know like that's a worthiness thing and that's something that I've, I've overcome, you know? At least I feel like a chariot on the split again, I'm pulling it. I feel like I've overcome the worthiness wound, Earth Angel. The Three of Swords lined up with the King of Wands and the Ten of Wands, he's, he's broken by this. The Chariot and the Two of Cups, Earth Angel and the Empress, he might be seeing that we are, are falling into a soul connection of some kind, even if it's not the King of Cups that we see coming up here. No matter who it is, we know that it's coming. And we know that we are staying light, happy, and positive no matter what happens. But all I really know right now so I want to give it a shake. I've never spoken to him. But given the choice, I would. And I think that's what I'm supposed to be admitting here. Because that's what I've been avoiding. I have not wanted to say out loud that they look the same. I have not wanted to say that I'm attracted to this new guy. And I have not wanted to admit that I wanted something just like this. Divine Feminine Energy. Medicups. 
world.